great cutout. Uh, it's your first time coming back and getting here. Can you talk a little bit about it and what it's like to go and do that? Yeah, um, it's, it's no big deal really. I mean, yesterday uh, he just did some things better than me. I didn't start early enough in the first period and uh, he's a good enough wrestler to where if he gets a lead, it's going to be uh, tough to come back on him. So just needed to start earlier. And, um, but coming back and wrestling today, every day, no matter what I'm doing, I'm supposed to do it with all my heart, uh, working for the Lord, not for myself or not for any other man. So uh, that is easy. Yeah. So you've wrestled Rodi a couple of times. Um, did you have a good feel for what he was going to be doing that match? Yeah, I had a good feel for what he was going to do. He had, he's a guy who has given me a lot of uh, problems previously as I was up high in my stance, as he stands up high. So this time, normally I like getting ahead, but this time, I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I didn't grab his head at all, really. I just stayed on his tricep, kept my right arm down. So. I feel good about wrestling him from now on. I, yeah, I think I can wrestle him well. You said it wasn't hard to get up for today, but did it feel any different not, not wrestling? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the hardest, the hardest part about it, uh, I would say, is just the fact that I didn't get to wrestle Saj Live again because I wanted to wrestle him, and I felt prepared for him. So I'd say that if there was any difficult part, that was it. But um, I... Try to do everything that, as I would do it if I was just if I was wrestling in the finals. Same warm up, same type of thought process, same type of approach to the day. So, cause I don't want to cheat anything. I want to go at it 100%. Did you cross paths with Sabulaev at all in the last 24 hours? Like, yeah, we took a bus ride home together yesterday and shared an elevator. So. I was thinking if we were in the finals together, it might have been a little weird, but since we were wrestling, we weren't wrestling each other, it wasn't that bad. Uh, yeah, we saw each other. He's a nice guy. Um, so, and it's not like we're going to have a conversation because I can barely speak Russian and he can barely speak English, so we can't talk much. Uh, uh, will you plan to, to you see after uh, Ali begins in Tokyo? No. No? No, I won't. Yeah. Why? Uh, I want to wrestle longer. We heard, we heard some gossip about you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. No, I won't be doing that. Um, speaking of the Olympics, how are you going to use this for your 2020 run, this experience? I'll just, I, I've already taken a couple things and learned from them. Uh, just starting earlier and uh, like sometimes I think about sometimes I get the thoughts will come to my head like uh, different things I don't want to happen to me when I'm wrestling but then when I put it into perspective it's not that bad you know and I'm always looking at Christ as the example so it's like I give up a go behind that's what happens if I shoot early I give up a go behind or give up a push out or something but Christ had to suffer way worse and he did it uh, he endured through it because he had the power to so I've got the same power inside me that his spirit to be fearless when I compete so that's what I want to try and do still working towards that still maturing and growing but I, 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 I'd like to get there and I know I know I will get there I know I will get there this was a step towards it you guy that loves being in the room do you take the time off after this yeah I'll take about uh, it depends 10 to 14 days off I'll be lifting though in, in those 10 to 14 days, uh, but I'll take those off and then I'll start figuring out my schedule for next year. You know, we've already got trials in April, which is like, what, six months away? Yeah, not much, six months away. And then I think the first ranking series tournament's in January, so I, I want to compete in that. So I'll figure out my schedule and yeah, think, see, see what makes sense. Yeah. Uh, a couple days before the event we were talking, you said that you're trying to figure out the peaking thing and you like to lift and, and yeah. you lifted whatever, 70, 80% Friday. Friday. Yeah. Um, did, physically, did that work, the, the feelings you wanted? Yeah, it worked. Yeah. yeah, I felt good, felt strong. And like I said, it helps me with my weight. I lost, uh, well, I lost 1.65 kilo in my sleep that Friday night. So I got to be bigger 
you know, get, getting into the tournament. I feel like I'm all. I already. I weigh about 100 to 100 point kilo typically, so I'm not cutting much weight, but. Um, yeah, it, it, every bit helps. Still trying to perfect it, and we'll continue to work out my schedule so that I feel more and more confident in it. Uh, really, we all uh, wait in uh, you and Sadulayev. Yes. Can you say about uh, your wrestling and you and Sadulayev? I still want to wrestle him again. Hopefully, we can uh, another time. I think this match is going to be a good match with him and Sharifov. I know they both are from the same area in Russia, so I'm sure they've wrestled a lot together. So. Uh, I'm interested to see how it uh, how it plays out, but yeah, I mean, Saul July is a very good wrestler. I just I felt like I had a good understanding of him, but Lord willing, we get to compete another time, and uh, we'll see if I do or don't. You got any friends? Man, it's it's all good. It's it's man, like I like I said, I try to keep things in perspective, and just uh, other things. I mean, I get to wrestle, that's my job. That's all I do is compete and train, and it's a pretty easy job. So uh, I just want to do it as hard as I can, and I know God will determine the results, and whatever happens is what's best for me. Not so that, what's best for me, not meaning gold medals around my neck, but what's best for me in regards to the maturing and the, uh, becoming holy and blameless in front of him when I stand before him uh, when it comes time. So that's my number one focus in life, but everything else I'm called to do as hard as I can as well so I'm trying to just learn and become like him.